All right, welcome to my Rebuild the Block Challenge Guide. So as you can see, there's only three challenges. Donate bars voting for construction projects on the block. Eliminate enemy players during the Rebuild the Block event. And survive storm phases during the Rebuild the Block event. So they're all pretty easy, except there's five stages for each one. Now luckily, in order to get the pickaxe, you only have to do seven stages. You get the Contrail at three, and obviously the Back Bling at 12. So let's see exactly how much gold you have to donate. And then I'll show you a great spot to farm gold as well. I also want to see if Team Rumble works for this. So we're going to test a few things here. Let's see how quickly we can do this. So unfortunately, just yesterday, I spent tons of my gold. I was maxed out at 5,000. Now I'm at 3891. So let me show you where you got to land to donate in the first place. So you can see one of the donation boards is right here. And of course, every time you donate, you do get some minis, which is cool. You can stock up your tent if you have a tent nearby. But here's exactly where it is, kind of on the southern aspect of Tilted Towers. Let's just go ahead. That guy just rage quit, I guess. You can only donate a few times per match, maybe? Let's see. Okay, so you get three different options. You got the Ninja one, you got the X Dark, or the Ben Mac. Let's see... So let's see, which one looks the coolest? This one looks like it has a wide open area in the top. I don't know if I like that. That one's not bad. I think I like this one best because it's got a multi-dimensional platform. Let's take it. So we're gonna donate, what does it do, 100 at a time? I wonder how many I can do. What are the speakers saying? I couldn't even understand that. Okay, so I need a hundred more. Oh, it looks like it goes by 50. I got it. Okay. Oh, it says no sweat. Okay. Oh, stage two is 900 as well. Well, that's not bad. Let's go ahead and do more. Here we go. Okay, stage three is 900 as well. I'm assuming they're all 900 then? Yep, stage five is 900. Okay. That's pretty silly. So I need a little more gold, unfortunately. So if you had max gold, you'd be able to finish this, no problem. Okay, so let me back out now and I'll show you where you can farm gold super easy. So here's the first reward, the seaweed. Kelp, I've fallen out of the battle bus. That's actually pretty funny. Instead of help, it's kelp. I like it. Let's see if eliminations actually work in Team Rumble. What the? Holy smokes, I thought the thing did 150 damage. I mean, it did, but... I thought it was with my my AR there. That was ridiculous. Somehow I hit that guy with a tree. All right, let's see if it's counting. Yes, it does work in Team Rumble. That's going to be super easy. So let me show you one of my favorite spots to farm gold. You can just do this at the start of a Team Rumble match, and you can get, I don't know, usually 100 plus gold. Now, obviously, you can find gold all over the place, but this spot has tons of gold if you break all the items. Hopefully, nobody else goes here, but it's just to the left of the gas station here in Coney. So here's the gas station, and here's the building to the left. It's this checkered area, and you just break all of these washers and dryers. Let's see, I was at about 170. And you should get gold in pretty much all of them. Some of them don't give you gold, but a lot of them do. And you can get some hefty stacks in here. So we pretty much just got over 100 gold in, what, 10 seconds? So that's a super easy way to farm gold. Just keep coming back to this spot right here and then farming it all up. All right, so I only need 50 more gold and I just got 62. Should be able to complete this challenge if I get over here fast enough.
There we go. Let's go. So there is the Lucky Lance Pickaxe. This one looks pretty sweet. I'll probably do a gameplay and review on this because I heard it's reactive. Looks nice though. Looks a little creepy. A little menacing. Nice. The Lucky Lance Pickaxe for free. Wow, so that game I had 18 of limbs. That's not bad. So stage four is 50 kills. Wow. Still on stage two of this one. But I only need three more stages to complete all the challenges. So you'll have some left over. Oh, wow. This game ended at 75 and I was doing so good. If it would have went to 100, I think I would have broke 30 kills. I had 22 of limbs. How many? My teammate had three. 22. Are you kidding me? Looks like stage five is a whopping 80 kills. Wow. for the survive the storm phases challenge the easiest and fastest way to do this is in solos you load up you jump right out of the bus you just glide until the first circle appears and then you back out and you rinse and repeat and you keep doing that over and over and over now i've just been doing it in team rumble here because you get like two or three per match which is terrible but that's one way to do it as well while you're grinding your limbs challenge you can just do this one at the same time but that by far is the easiest method to get that first survive the circle and then back out and repeat and do it over and over again. All right, so there it is, the grand finale of a prize, the Oro Boris. And he's a hungry little guy, it says. He's basically eating his tail and it's completely animated in a figure eight. It looks incredible. That is one of the coolest animations I've ever seen on a back bling. Amazing. Well worth the grind. So there you go, that's how you do the rebuild the block challenges. And as you can see, you still have three stages left that you can do if you want the extra XP. But you only have to do 12 to get all the rewards. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.